Okay, so we are gonna get our full-blown acceleration here. Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's video, we're gonna be reviewing the all-new Honda CRV Hybrid. Before getting this video, though, a huge shout out and thank you to the Stockton 12 Honda here in Utah for giving me some time with this hybrid CRV. I'm gonna include a link to their inventory in the description down below so you can check out what they have currently. If you have any questions or need any help, just ask for John. And then on a side note, if you want to save time and money the next time purchase car, link to my car buying guide in the description down below. Let's get into it. Under the hood, we have a Natchi aspirated 2 liter 4 cylinder that goes through a CVT automatic transmission. It's also paired to a hybrid system. Fuel economy is 40 around town and then 34 on the highway with power outputs being 204 horsepower and then 247 pound feet of torque. If you're wondering, it is a dual electric motor hybrid system. Before we go over the front end, I do want to mention if you see more videos just like this, then I recommend you subscribe because I post content every single day. So starting with the hood, just like all of the other new CRVs, you guys can see that it's just flat there in the center, and then you got those distinctive lines off to either side. And then coming down below, you guys can see here with the LED lights there and the daytime running lights, I think those look fantastic. Notice the grill is all blacked out. You've got the giant Honda logo in the center, and then you guys can see the trim pieces off to either side, and then there are parking sensors on the front end. And then when you put it all together, the front end definitely looks fantastic. Coming around the side here, our timing wheel setup is 235, 55, 19 in the front and over in the rear as well. And then you guys can see with the wheel design, it's all blacked out and you've got like chunky spokes, which I think looks pretty cool. Notice the fender flares are all blacked out. And I love that sharp line there on the fender itself. Blacked out mirror caps, we got chrome trim here around the windows and then notice the black molding there on the side. And then when you put it all together, I think this thing looks pretty cool. I love the black roof rails and the wheels and the mirror caps. It kind of like just pulls it together. So here's our key fob. We have our unlock function, our lock function, our remote start, and then the opening here for the hatch. And then opening up the hatch is super easy. You can use that key fob function like I showed you or just press that button and it'll pop it right open. Now that we're inside of the hybrid, you guys can see storage space is really solid. We have a 12 volt here in the back and then you can see the little cubbies there on either side. Now you cannot pick up the loading floor here because there's probably some of the hybrid stuff underneath the floor. And so, yeah, interesting. And then when you're all done, just press that button right there and that'll lower the hatch right back down. We've got the new style of taillights here with the CRV. You guys can see really sharp LEDs here and then all of our badges on the back. And you got the whole kick step function where you can just hold your foot underneath to open up the hatch. That's another way. Parking sensors there at the rear and then look at those exhaust tip covers. And then when you put it all together, I think that the new CRV just looks great, but especially this sport touring hybrid, it looks really sporty and cool. Now here's the door panel on the rear. You guys can see all the black dot trim here at the top and then look at the padding and the stitching down below and then like little handle there, window control, and then there's more storage down below that. Now here are these seats. Look at the orange stitching there. And then notice it's perforated in the center. Really cool design with the seat. Legroom here in the back is actually really solid. I've got some vents here in the center and then I got some USBs too. And then headroom's also really good. And we of course have a cup holder armrest. And then with the front door panel, you guys can see the trim here at the top and then look at all of the padding and stitching down below. All of our window controls here with our mirror adjustments. Notice the memory seat function and then the mirrors do have blind spot monitoring. And then here's the front seat. You guys can see again with the stitching and then notice in the center as well. And then the seat is power adjustable. We have another way to open up the hatch here from the front stability control. And then look at the vent here on the side. That's pretty cool. Steering wheel is manually adjustable. Now here's a quick look at the steering wheel. Really nice padding all around. You got the contrast that's stitching there on the center portion. And then we do have our adaptive cruise control as well as our steering assist. Paddle shifters here on the back for that CVT. And then you guys can see here, we've got like our home screen button for the center stack there. Voice command controls, volume controls, heated steering wheel button on the steering wheel, which is pretty cool. Turn signal light stock, windshield wiper stock. Here's our center gauge cluster. As you can see, it shows us the hybrid information there on the left side. And then just like other CRVs, you can basically just go through these different menus. Now, what's unique to this is the power flow menu, which shows you exactly what's happening, whether the battery is charging everything or whether the battery's getting charged. Another cool party trick here is with the drive mode. So notice when I change the drive mode, it gives me a cool little picture of what drive mode I'm going into which I don't know, I think that's definitely fun. Um, but notice there's snow, econ, and then your normal mode, and then obviously sport. Now here's the backup camera. It does have trajectory lines that turn with the steering wheel, and then you can also kind of change 
the viewpoint there with the camera. Now as for the rest of the infotainment system, notice we got this shortcut button there on the side for the home screen and then you got like your back function and radio control for the volume. Um, the screen itself, response time is great and you guys probably noticed I was on that power flow chart. There's also one here for the infotainment screen. We got the Honda Mega Vent down below and then you guys can see here dual zone climate controls, heated seats for the front and they're automatic too. This is our charging area so we've got some USBs, 12 volts and then you can see a wireless phone charging pad. So here is our shifter for the CVT. You guys can see we have a regular D and then you've got your B mode as well. We have a brake hold on top of that parking brake. That's your hill descent control and then your drive mode select and looks pretty cool. Got a couple cup holders right here and then here's the center console with some nice stitching. And then you can see storage space there is pretty solid. Don't worry, I did not forget the glove box down below. And just look at like the rest of the dash too. I think that Honda's definitely just brought up the interior overall. Now we do have a sunroof here for the hybrid. And then you got your control for the sunroof as well. So here's our window sticker for this hybrid CRV Sport Touring. Um, pretty much everything went over with standard equipment. So let's see any options. 30, 38,600 is the base MSRP. The exterior color, that's like the only real option. Total MSRP after destination, everything 40,240. And... Let's see how it drives. Okay, let's talk about visibility before we set off. Here's the visibility over the hood. Both the mirrors just do a blind spot monitoring. Then throw out the rest of the rear and let's set off. First off, I want to mention that I am going to be using this same video for my CRV hybrid review with the driving impressions. However, the video is going to be a little bit longer for the comparison video between this and the regular CRV because I'm going to include an after clip in this driving portion, if that makes sense, to talk about both the vehicles. Now, something that I missed in the walk around comparison is this actually has, uh, so you've got drive and then you have a B down below, which is, I assume, going to be a little bit more aggressive with the kind of like braking. Um, but then on the regular CRV, you have a D, an S, and an L. The S is like your sport mode, whereas this one, you have the sport mode with the toggle switch. And then the L is, again, kind of like more aggressive, not with the gearing because as a CVT, but um, basically make it so that it keeps the engine at higher RPM so then you can kind of engine brake a little bit more. Hopefully I got that right. If I got it wrong, let me know in the comment section below. <laughs> but... Well, once this traffic goes by, we'll set off. Okay, so initially getting up with the hybrid, we are currently... Not in full electric mode because it doesn't say EV, but this thing's really smooth. Like, it's it's quiet. Can hear the engine a little bit on occasion, but for the most part, it, it's it's a lot quieter. Um, suspension, all that feels the same between both of them. I love the steering here on the new CRV overall. It feels about the same in terms of steering. It has like this nice weighted feel when you go around the corners, which I appreciate. But yeah, the biggest thing I'm noticing about the hybrid is it's a lot quieter and I don't have to get into the throttle as much for it to move. Like the power you get out of the electric side of things with this is so much that you pretty much can just be like partial throttle. I can hear the engine running. It's probably charging the battery right now, which is pretty cool. Actually, there's probably like a hybrid tab right here. Yeah, power flow right there that I can show you. Okay, so we're in the sport mode. I'm just partial throttle here. I will say this engine's a little bit noisier when it is on compared to the 1.5. The 1.5 when it's on, it's it's quieter. So that is interesting. Yeah, you guys can see. That's cool that I have that so you guys can see the energy flow. And okay, so we are going to get our full-blown acceleration here. Huh, <laughs> interesting. Very, very interesting. So I'm going to kind of slow down here and get another little acceleration. Yeah, definitely uh, the big thing I'm noticing here is this, like I said, just a little bit noisier uh, compared to the 1.5. That is interesting. That is for sure. Um, I just missed the turn there. Whatever. We'll just keep going. So let's kind of uh, sum things up here with this hybrid. And then, um, like I said, in the main comparison, I'll have like a quick uh, after clip uh, so that you guys can get kind of like my final impressions with hybrid versus non-hybrid. But if this is just the regular hybrid review, this will be <laughs> your impressions for that video. Um, I like how it drives a lot. Um, it's, it's pretty seamless with the transition from having the engine on to off, which is great. Um, acceleration solid. It does feel quicker than the non-hybrid. Now, I wouldn't say that it's like way, way quicker. 
it's it's quicker but it's not like an insane amount quicker actually uh, off the line you do feel quite a uh, big difference because again since the 1.5 is turbocharged then it's going to have a little bit of turbo lag before it gets up and moves whereas this right off the bat and then you get into the naturally aspirated engine and then it kind of again it feels so similar to the 1.5 with the acceleration so huh i mean it'd be it's it's be tough to choose between both of them <laughs> that's for sure but overall I, I think that honda did a great job with this hybrid fuel economy ratings where it needs to be and it, you know i'd say overall with the driving experience it does feel more premium than the regular powertrain the only downside that i can really think of is the fact that it just is a little bit noisier uh, when you are full throttle with this versus with the 1.5 T. That's gonna sum things up with our video on this Honda CRV Sport Touring Hybrid. Again, a huge shout out and thank you to the Stockton 12 Honda for giving some time with the CRV. Check out the intro in the description down below. I'll see ya.